The American war for independence had begun. The colonists spread the word to their Whig elements, and they immediately responded to the alarm. In a few days, some 16,000 townsmen held bent for independence gathered together to form the nucleus of the colonial forces that would carry the war through. Gage had been stopped at Lexington, thanks to the warning made famous by the midnight ride of Paul Revere and the assistance he got from Mr. William Dawes. With Gage and the British troops out of Boston, it gave the colonists a chance to group their forces, and after they had done so, the Continental Congress, acting on behalf of the 13 colonies, appointed a young man from Virginia by the name of George Washington, commander-in-chief of the colonial forces, thus preparing the colonists for the siege of Boston and the still-famous Battle of Bunker Hill. The muskets fired, the cannons roared, and when the smoke had cleared away, they found the bodies of the countless men who died for liberty there on the ground. Another page in history was written, and fate to Washington had not been kind. But he held his head up high as he retreated from the Battle of Brandywine. 